Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi guys, welcome to this episode. In this episode, I'm running through the Deus ORX, my Deus ORX. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and perhaps what I don't like about it. So please join me for this episode and see what you think. Let's crack on. First thing you notice about the Deus is how compact it folds up. How small is that? I fit in any car, even my mini. I'll just measure that. Show you the width. Hi right, guys, folded 25 inches. 25 inches. Tell me which car that won't go in. Fits in any car. Ultra, ultra, ultra light. Ultra light. I've had iPhones that are heavier than this. Ultra light. That was another selling feature for me, was the lightness. I did have a decision to make between this and the Equinox 800. I like the Equinox 800, but this, it's just so light. You know, you can swing this for two or three hours, and you not even know what, you're just swinging it. I mean, the Eurowaste wasn't exactly a weighty beast, but this, it's like it's been on a super fibre diet. <laughs> it weighs nothing. I went for the 9.5 inch coil that isn't round. Fantastic coil. Good for getting um, in between those corn stalks, getting it in the woods. It's like a little sniper coil in effect. Now the only downside to this, I was hoping for a bigger coil. When I took this out of the box, I thought, where's the other half of my coil? Is that the size of my coil? Because I was used to the Euroasis double D coil. Fantastic coil that is in Euroasis. But this came out and I thought I might not get used to this. I might have to get a bigger coil for it. But, but it's been a fantastic coil. The charge points, it charges up so quickly. Just got to remember to keep it charged up. It's a fantastic little coil. Will I invest in a bigger coil as I go further on? Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm going to get the X35 coil. Stick that bad boy on it and see what we can do with that. I know that'll go a little bit deeper than this. But yet yeah, this goes as deep as I require it to go. I know people say, oh, we got it, but I'm, I, it's, I'm happy with its depth. I don't want to dig a trench, don't want to dig for England. No, I'm not looking for coal. <laughs> right, guys, let's talk headphones. These headphones come, come with it. Brilliant little headphones. You charge up there, simply on, off. And that's it, volume control. Ultra light again, headphones. The only thing you have to be careful of these is, is these can make your ears sore. You have to wear them in a certain way. Uh, Nigel Regton told me you have to wear them kind of with this bit further down the back of your neck. Down there. As these can, I wouldn't say they rub on your ears, but they can actually make your ears quite sore if you're wearing them for long periods of, t of time. So I, I adjusted it like what uh, Nigel said. It works a treat now. You can hardly tell you've got them on. So them and the headphones, brilliant little headphones, also completely wireless, completely wireless. Now there is a wire in there, believe it or not. This has a battery. I'll just show you this now. This has a battery. That comes completely off, out the stem. And up here runs a wire. And at the top there, that's your battery. Yep, just sits in there. Nicely tucked out of the way. So it is still wireless, even though it has actually got a wire going up that stem. But you can't tell, can't notice. Hi guys, this is where your control box sits. Just clips on and off there. That weighs nothing. It's not even as heavy as a phone. 
and just clips onto there. You can actually run the machine without actually having that connected. You could have that in your pocket if it's raining or wherever. Leave it at home. I don't know. <laughs> you can actually run it without that that uh, being connected. Charges at the bottom. You have a, a charge point and a headphone jack point. So if you want to put your own headphones in, if you don't want to use the wireless or you have a special set of headphones you'd like to use. Awesome colours. like the colours of it. I have got a cover for this so it stays nice and clean because I don't like scratching the screen or dirty in my buttons. I like to keep it nice and clean and ready to go. Right guys, I just run some through the box, some of the settings. Let's turn it on. It's got a backlight. We don't want uh, any volume at the moment because I'm just showing you. This is your main startup screen. I've got it set to coins deep. Um, I'll just show you how to change change certain settings and so what I like to do is alter my frequency. You got multi it's a multi multi frequency machine, so you can alter your, your frequency. So we'll go down to frequency, there's all your sensitivities. Um I can't really give you much advice on the on the settings because I'm still learning this machine myself. Uh, there is a Facebook group. Uh get yourself on it and if you need to know any settings, they'll they'll tell you what settings you can try, what settings might be best for pasture, sand, wet sand, plough, whatever. Okay, so I just go down to my frequency. Yeah, now I can give it a full blast. I can go press the plus button, takes it up to 31. I think that's as far as it'll go, 74.0. I don't think you're ever going to use it in 74.0. You could put ghosts up with that. That's so high. So what I tend to do is take it back down to 14. I mean, that your 14.4 is your factory preset. So back back up to 31, and then I click this button here with your little arrows. It takes me to 26.6. That's what I like to hold in coins deep. 26.6. But there's so many other. Uh, variations you can use that's just what I like to use probably switch it on change my frequency off we go um, you got your configuration so you can uh, go in you got your programs which is basically I'll show you those in a second you can that's how you change your coil your coil if you get a new coil it'll come with a number and you, you, you push it into there. You can have your headset on or off. You can use a pinpoint with this. It comes with a pinpoint. Well, say it doesn't come with it. You can buy a pinpointer, a wireless pinpointer. Okay. So easy settings to go through. It's just a matter of learning it. Have a bit of a play with it. And then just see, you know, what you can do. I say I'm not going to tell people how to use it because I don't know myself. We've got target idea 31 there. I should use a coin. That's gold. That's fine gold. That's coins fast. Coins deep. And then you can put your own user settings in there. As you can see there, it comes up with a fantastic display. When metal's detected, let's see if I can't just show you something if it'll pick it up. There you go nice big display easily readable you got your iron probability meter at the bottom so if it's iron that'll light up i'll see if i can show you the pinpoint function as well you click your pinpoint function and you see that and as you get closer to it it makes a loud buzzing sound don't know if that'll pick that up let me get this you see so as you get closer to that target, boosh, boosh, it's brilliant, it's a brilliant machine, well pleased with it. So it's just a matter of running through, read your instruction book, run through it, give it a bit of a play, try it on a couple of fields, see what you can do, see what you can pull up, and basically all the best. Hi guys, the questions of all questions, would I buy one again? Yes, I would, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. Ultra light, ultra sensitive. Not too bad for the money. 700 quid. Can live with that. Got a great 
uh, deal and great service from Regtons. Came super fast. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. Mega pleased with it. I can go out for longer now. With this ultralight machine. Yeah. Anybody wants to get one? Get one. If you don't, <laughs> carry on with what you got. So please don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you could. It'd be awesome. And let's crack on. Thank you.